In patients with atrial fibrillation, there are two main therapeutic strategies. Whichever strategy is chosen, it is very important to carefully assess and control the patient's blood clot and or stroke risk with appropriate blood thinners. Heart rate control strategies where atrial fibrillation is accepted and the therapeutic goal is to control the heart rate, here the options are either medications or a pacemaker. Heart rhythm control strategies to prevent atrial fibrillation and the where the therapeutic goal is to maintain normal heart rhythm, here the options include antiarrhythmic drugs or catheter ablation, which can be curative. For paroxysmal atrial fibrillation cases, or cases where the fibrillation occurs briefly and transiently, Dr. Rodriguez has an excellent success rate with catheter ablation. In a sample of 75 patients with at least one year follow-up data, 91% experienced complete relief and the remaining 9% experienced partial relief. 7% needed a second procedure to experience complete relief. For atrial fibrillation cases where the condition is more persistent or permanent, Dr. Rodriguez again has an excellent success rate with catheter ablation. In a sample of 36 patients, whose duration of atrial fibrillation prior to ablation was less than two years and who had not experienced marked enlargement of the left atrium, 74.5% experienced complete relief, 14% experienced partial relief, and 11.5% had no relief. 7% needed a second procedure to experience complete relief. Dr. Rodriguez's personal experience with catheter ablation for atrial fibrillation now exceeds 1,000 cases. Occurrences of serious complications, less than 1%, is lower than the reported national average. In over 20 years of our clinical experience, the mortality rate has been zero for catheter ablation. PSVT is a short circuit driven arrhythmia that is treated with careful observation, medications, or catheter ablation. The cure rate for catheter ablation in Dr. Rodriguez's experience is 99% with less than 0.1% risk of serious complications. In over 20 years of our clinical experience, the mortality rate has been zero for catheter ablation. Our experience with PSVT ablation exceeds 1,500 cases. In patients with Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome who have symptoms or a concerning family history or higher risk profile, electrophysiology study and catheter ablation may be recommended. Dr. Rodriguez has treated over 500 cases of Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome with excellent outcomes. We have a 99% success rate with less than 0.05% risk. In over 20 years of our clinical experience, the mortality rate has been zero for catheter ablation.